Kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will review some of the new features added in One UI 6.1 update on Galaxy A54. When it comes to budget smartphone, this is one of the most popular smartphone for 2023. And with Samsung's new update policy, it still holds up in 2024. And after the new update of Android 14 One UI 6 version, Samsung has added some new cool features. In this video, I will show you 10 of the new features added in One UI 6.0. So the first cool feature is the widget section. When you press and hold and choose widget option, you have a new custom camera widget. When you click on that, you can add this widget. And you can choose from all these options. If you like to take more videos on the go, you can choose the option of videos or selfies as you like it. For me, I like to take a lot of videos, so I will choose this option. You can also put a title like video camera and save it and click on save. So you have this widget always ready. When you click on that, you can directly start taking videos. For photos, you already have your normal camera application. The second cool widget is for the weather application. So when you go down, you will see the weather application. Now this one is a new cool widget, which will give you a lot of options and information. So when you click on that, it will give you more details than the previous widget option for weather. And also it has some cool animations. So you have more detail about the weather information. So the second cool feature is in the edge panel. When you swipe to the left, you have your control center on your edge panel itself. And also you can add the note feature of smart select on the edge panel itself. To do so, go to the settings, type edge panel, click on the edge panel. And here you can choose all the new edge panels for One UI 6.0. Samsung has added a new security feature. So when you go to settings and type security, choose the option security and privacy. Now you have an option of auto blocker. When you turn it on, it will protect your device from any kind of virus or blocks applications from any unauthorized sources. It also protects your device when you're charging it outside with any unknown cable. It will protect your device from getting any virus from any outside sources. This is a cool feature and must be on. With One UI 6.0, you get a new control panel, but you have to swipe twice to see the full control panel. If you want a faster and quicker access, you can click on this edit icon and choose the option quick setting instant access and turn it on. By doing so, you just swipe to the right and you have the full control center open up for you. But still when you swipe from the left side, you will have to swipe twice to see the full control panel. But if you want a faster access, just swipe from the right and you have the full control center open for you. Samsung has also added a new feature for the lock screen, especially for the clock icon. So when you double tap, and press and hold here and you can draw the pattern or just put your fingerprint. You will get an access for your lock screen. Now tap on it. You can increase or decrease the size of the clock. You can also rotate it left or right. You also have these new fonts in One UI 6.0. If you want to choose any, I prefer this one, but you get an option to increase or decrease the size and move it around anywhere. Another new feature is before when you want to move any application, you have to press and swipe the application on the right or the left. But now with One UI 6.0, you just press and hold the application and move the screen around you. And you can place it anywhere you want. Samsung has also added some new features in the camera application. So when you open your camera application, now you can change the megapixel size right from here. So when you tap over here, you can choose 50 megapixel or 12 megapixel photo. Also, when you go to the video option right from here, you can choose full HD or 4K 60, 30 frame per second. Something very similar to iPhone, but this can be very handy while taking photos and videos. Samsung has also added a new feature in the photo application. So when you click on gallery and choose any photo, just like iPhone, you can separate the background. Not just that, you can choose this photo and place it anywhere you want. For example, you can open the notes application and place it right over here. And not just notes, if you want, you can choose a messaging application or any other application, just like this. And also in photos, when you click on this eye icon, it will give you all the details about the photo. You also get all the editing options right from here. When you tap over here, 
you get all the editing options. With One UI 6.0, Samsung also gives you a multiple file sharing preview. So when you select a lot of pictures, for example, all of them, and share it by WhatsApp or anything, you get the preview of all the pictures which you are sending. So if you're making any mistake, you can edit it right from here. In One UI 6.0, Samsung also give you a new application called Studio. This is a cool feature. You can make your own videos for YouTube or TikTok right from here. There are a lot of other applications which you can use to do so, but this is a new application by Samsung for One UI 6.0 update. There are a lot more features included in One UI 6.0. Hopefully, I'll make a new video for other features in the future. One drawback of One UI 6.0, which I personally feel is for the battery life. The battery life in One UI 6.0 is not so good. This is my personal opinion. Because when I'm using adaptive display of 120Hz, I'm not getting a full days of charge with One UI 6.0 update. So that's it for this video guys. I really hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you all soon in my next one. Till then, goodbye. Peace.